So Islamist militants in Iraq have declared the completion of their Islamic state. Islam has not gone through a reformation. It hasn't gone through the enlightenment process. I trust that most people here, one of the reasons why we're here is because we all agree that there is a problem of radical Islam. Why is it that some Muslims feel justified in killing their fellow citizens in the name of Islam? Throughout history, reform has never been easy. Violent, barbaric, medieval, outdated, illiberal. These are just some of the words commonly used by callers of reformation when describing aspects of normative Islam. And for some years now, there have been ongoing discussions amongst British politicians and academics as to whether or not Islam should undergo a reformation, ultimately stripping it of all its political and alleged violent aspects. Another question posed by callers of reformation is that during an age of global secularism, what need is there of religion to have any say or influence in the public domain? A common mistake which numerous Western politicians and academics make when discussing this subject is that they wrongly apply the Christian European experience known as the Protestant Reformation of the 16th century to Islam and Muslims. However, there's no shadow of a doubt that the period known as the Reformation and what subsequently led to the Enlightenment brought with it numerous benefits in terms of human advancement and intellectual progression. But in stark contrast, Islam as a religion and as a ruling authority had always allowed an impressive degree of flexibility for scholars to deal with new realities without altering the Quranic text or the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. We understand, according to French media, that a gunman opened fire in a bar in Paris. They claim that the new state stretches from Aleppo to Diyala on the outskirts of Baghdad. Due to the ongoing conflict in Iraq and Syria, involving the group known as the so-called Islamic State and closer at home with the most recent Paris attacks, the discussion surrounding Islam and reformation has once again resurfaced. And no, what will work for me, however, is, is not to use the word reform because that has uh, its connotations in, in Christian history. I'm a little skeptical of using the concept of reformation with regard to Islam uh, because it comes out of a particular context of church-state relations. These people that say Islam needs a reformation have never read Christian history. This is the reformation. What we need is a Council of Trent. We need a counter-reformation. 